This is the business news. My name is Malika Kazia. The Central Bank's Monetary Policy Committee has retained the benchmark lending rate at 9%, citing economic fundamentals were in place despite the recent hike in value-added tax of 8%. Now, the CBK Governor, Dr. Patrick Njoroge, in a statement to newsrooms, said that overall inflation is expected to rise in the near term following the implementation of value-added tax on petroleum products and its impact on other prices, such as, as well as increases in international oil prices and the committee noted that inflation expectations remained well anchored within the target range but concluded that there was need to monitor the second round inflationary effects arising from the VAT on petroleum products and any perverse response to its previous decisions. This means that the cost of loans will still hold at 13% on interest charged by banks. Now, Nairobi is set to host this year's International Millers Conference that will bring together 100 exhibiting companies from over 50 countries. That conference will take place next month and has attracted participants from the Middle East, Africa, Europe, North America, Australia and Asia. The Serial Millers Association now says that the recently passed 8% value-added tax will not affect the price of flour, even as they decry regional imports. Let's listen in. The country's consumption is increasing as we speak. As countries, if you read around the world, as countries become more affluent, typically they switch to rice and to, and to wheat away from your traditional grains like in this country with, 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 with maize. So the, the, the requirement to import is increasing each year while the country's, the country's harvest itself production stays fairly flat. This year, as you said, we expect the yield to be down. Crops were planted quite late because of the weather and the quality of the crop is nothing like we expect it to be. And that affects our ability to extract flour at, a, at, a, at an economic level from that, from that grain. We are very concerned, to be honest, because in, uh, imports are being allowed in from Tanzania that are not having to pay duty because of the regional, the regional trade. We're not allowed to export into Uganda yet because Uganda's got similar barriers on flour from Kenya. That as Nakuru County gears up to embrace city status later this year, what started off as an idea to revolutionize public transport mobility via a taxi-hailing mobile application in their hometown for some childhood friends has birthed a first taxi mobile application service in Nakuru County. KTN's Ashley Mazuri brings us that interesting story of grass to grace. The idea of replicating a city taxi hailing app by Tim Kamanga and his childhood friend Mark Njagi is already causing ripples in Nakuru County. The newly devolved venture dubbed Rosili Rider is indeed a game changer. Although vehicles offering taxi services have been within town, Wasili has taken advantage of the fact that most visitors are not aware of designated parking spaces. The business started off with three vehicles in late June this year and has now attracted over 18 investors who have registered their taxi services with their mobile application, raising the car's numbers to a fleet of 29. What we are hoping to add onto our portfolio moving forward is vehicles that uh, uh, will accommodate people with uh, disabilities. Just like any other taxi hailing up, the user downloads it and puts a request indicating the location where they are. The lowest charges are 150 shillings, a little lower than taxis within the CBD and a little higher than the tuk-tuks operating in town. What we are striving to do is to have more people at least try out the Wasili services. But those ones that have used our services have become repeat customers. The venture being a new idea in town, it has received much publicity due to its uniqueness and being a fast in the county. Investors pay 15% from each trip of what they earn to the company, while others who register their vehicles without drivers are sourced for. The entry of Vasili Rider joins the growing list of taxi hailing apps in the highly competitive industry. Ashley Missouri, KTN News. And that was the business news. Hope you have a wonderful night. My name is Malika Kazia.